Finding great careers in Alaska for Alaskans. We're getting you on track this Workforce Wednesday. <laughs> This week, we're getting ready for Iditarod 2016. Mushers, no doubt, put in a tremendous amount of work training for the last great race, not to mention the more than 1,000 mile trek to Nome that still lies ahead. But what about the people behind the scenes? Takes a whole community and people in various industries working together to prepare and put on a race of this magnitude. So today, we're talking about jobs that make the Iditarod run. Joining us now is Carrie Ann Cardi with Alaska Process Industry Career Consortium and Stan Dan Hooley, Executive Director of the Iditarod. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So Stan, what's the economic impact of the Iditarod? Well, it's been a few years since we've actually measured that. Uh, the most recent study that we conducted indicated that just one day's impact on Anchorage um, amounted to somewhere between seven and eight million dollars in new money uh, to the economy. So some people might be surprised by that number. And then you consider the race is 10 to 14 days long and there are obviously other communities involved so the impact is far greater than that to the state but it's uh, uh, it's good to know that 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 a race like this can 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 be helpful to the economy definitely so Carrie Ann talk about some of the job specialties that really help bring the Iditarod to life sure like you said earlier that you know it takes a ton of people and a ton of work to put on something like the, the last great race um, some of the occupations that are helping out um, are in telecommunications, veterinary science, environmental health, and really, <clears throat> excuse me, th there are a lot of volunteers that help out with this race, but these are the occupations that really keep Alaska strong. Stan, how important are these behind the scenes jobs in streamlining the race, making it happen? Well, we certainly couldn't do it without that army of 1,500 or so volunteers. We have a very small staff of roughly six uh, full-time equivalents, so to make this race happen, um, we need a lot of generalists, but we also need a lot of specialists. Um, people with aviation backgrounds play a huge role in what we do. People in uh, veterinary sciences, we'll have approximately 50 or veterinarians involved in this year's race, so that's obviously another key occupation. Uh, telecommunications, our whole communications network up and down the trail, uh, another well, uh, uh, well-developed but much-needed specialty. So we work obviously very closely with, uh, with GCI to make that happen each year, and that's part of what's happening behind the scenes right now. Mm -hmm. GCI, our parent company, of course. Mm -hmm. And Carrie Ann, what are some Iditarod-related careers <coughs> and some of the companies hiring right now for those? Well, if you take a look at that long list of sponsors of the Iditarod, those are some of the, the big employers for these occupations. You know, we're uh, Bristol Bay Native Corporation, GCI, Providence, uh, Beacon Occupational Health and Safety. And really, just a quick check through yesterday uh, it shows about 425 actively recruited positions with those companies right now. So, Stan, if somebody wants to get involved in all the action with the last great race, what should they do? Well, Iditarod.com is, is really the best place to do that. Uh, there's a volunteer section on the website where you can see what's available, see what opportunities. Uh, there might be to, to get involved. Uh, most of those assignments for this year's race have, have been filled. There may be some last minute uh, opportunities uh, and for anyone that's interested in pursuing that, at this point I'd recommend they visit race headquarters at the Lakefront Anchorage and, and talk to the volunteer coordinators there. And the best way to see if you're interested in this is head out to the ceremonial start. Okay. Check out the Iditarod, the restart too, this weekend. Yeah. You can see all the action and everything that it takes. Mm -hmm. Carrie Ann, Martha, should we contact her if we want more information? Absolutely. Too? Like Stan was saying, if you want to volunteer, you want to get on the list for next year, go see them at the Iditarod headquarters. But Martha Peck, if you're interested in some of these careers that support the last great race. An exciting time. Thank you both for your time this morning.